you may please be seated and there is also someone having church with us today interestingly I've been my heart has been open to his ministry especially recently and I just found myself even yesterday thanking God you know for all that he's doing through him celebration church help me honor prophet Joel Ogebe <laughs> nice to see you sir thank you very much is that your wife nice to, please can, can we just honor you can you stand up for a few seconds please celebrate them thank you sir thank you Matt. thank you for coming and pastor Elvis is with us today hallelujah prophet if i knew you were coming on time we would have put you on the spot so that you do hello be your day. did you bring a shaker <laughs> the lord who has us i'm tempted for time 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 <laughs> <Your kid don't go. laughs> okay what about what about just four minutes three minutes <laughs> Salamize us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. You can't be a Christian and not love the Bible. I was in Abuja two weeks ago in the parlor. We were having a meeting with my brethren. And all of a sudden, I told them, I said, Ah, the Lord just spoke to me. He said, go and connect to Emmanuel Irene as your friend. Now, I don't make friends anyhow. I don't. I don't have any contact with him. Nothing. But see, we do not know men after the flesh. <laughs> One week later, I still came. Connect with him. I said, okay. And I called a friend. I said, ah, this is what the Lord has told me. He said, yes. I have connection to him. Let me call him and tell him. When he told the man of God, the man of God shouted. He said, two weeks ago, while he was in Abuja, the Lord told him, connect with Joel. <laughs> you don't understand this. Video. We are not alone. When I heard that, I knew this man is in the spirit. He told my friend that, ah, this guy is in the spirit. So this morning, I went to his church honored me honorable man but you know what finally gave me the confidence was how he hallowed the word of god he says i'm saying any mature christian will love the word of god i brought this example because you cannot truly build a christian without laboring intensively in the word of god we live in a fast-paced generation you cannot know the oracles of God in one minute YouTube video. TikTok. If one minute TikTok video is how you are knowing God, I pity for you. Oh, this video revived me. You? The video is an invitation. If you are truly interested, you go and look for the full message. <laughs> this video has revived me. Give me two bottles of stout this time, not three. The video revived me so much. So I will not take five bottles today. Then after three days, you say, Lord, you know we are men. <laughs> when you see those snippets, it's an invitation. Sister, I want to be strong in the Lord. It's not prayer. What, when I say it's not prayer, it's not someone praying for you. It's you going to labor in the word and doctrine. Light is what transfer information. Do you know? I received an intelligent illumination about light. Maybe on Thursday, next week, or on Sunday, I'll teach you. Do you know we can see ourselves because of light? And the fact that we can see ourselves is a form of information transfer. You can say this brother is putting in, putting on what? Green. This uncle is putting on milk. I'm putting on what they call this one? Brown. Why? light has made it manifest do you know i came to that revelation i sat down 
and I saw a vision of a jet, is it laser printer or something? I saw the light passed through it. Pa, pa. So I was wondering, is it that God wants me to start computer business? <laughs> That's why you don't rush to give vision your interpretation. So I was looking at, the light will flash. Pa, pa. And then the voice of the Lord came to me. He said, Earth has learned a secret that they don't know. True information is passed across by light. 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 So if you understand light alone, you can receive information. So when I see spiritual light on people, all of a sudden I begin to notice about them. Light is that which what makes. So if you get to a crossroad in your business, in your office, and you are confused. What do you ask for? Light. Speak light upon it. Go and sleep. You will see the solution in a vision. Someone doesn't believe me. Oh. If you don't have light, you are not of Christ. Because God is what? Light. How come I'm in Abuja? Emmanuel Iren is an impactful man of God respected in the church of africa and beyond you don't just connect to those kind of people carelessly he is of the pastoral apostolic stream raising powerful people i'm of the prophetic stream what is this connection for when i went to his church this morning I said, oh, I now understand. There are some people you think they are young, but they've been promoted to be gatekeepers, but you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. There are some old men that are gatekeepers, but not every old man is a gatekeeper. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. Not every old man is keeping your type of gate. Guess what? If God wants to begin to expand you in a territory, He will send you to honor His men. May God give you understanding. I can say, No, no, I'm too, I'm too prophetic. I'm a prophet, you know. We are leading a new, a new generation. A new generation. A new generation in International Apostolic Church of Christ Mission, Thunder Fire. And a simple instruction for your lifting, you will disobey it. No matter how casual a leading is, do it. Leadings don't make sense, they make impact. If God say wear a white shirt, but where is in this where is it in the scripture? Or God, they don't explain leading, they obey it. We are sleepers today to walk. I no, no, we cannot have, have me a, a swagger bubble. Your poverty has been extended. And for God to know, to make you know he led you, he spoke to, there are still people that hear God, sir. We've never spoken till now on phone. Never ever. No connection whatsoever. How come two of us are receiving the same signal the same week? He's big. He don't need to say anything to impress me. He doesn't need to come and lie and say, oh, I, hey, God also told me. What does he need me for? Hello. Thank you for watching the video. And I hope it was a great asset to you. And I hope it was also very useful. If you haven't commented, if you haven't liked it, please And for more videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. God bless you.